Hello, I am Paul Zico, Commandant of the United States Coast Guard. One of my other responsibilities, and it's one I'm very passionate about, is Chairman of the Interdiction Committee, where I work alongside a coalition of agencies to stem the flow of drugs brought into this country by transnational criminal organizations, drugs that are eroding the health and well-being of our nation. Today, I stand here with the Director of the National Drug Control Policy, Michael Botticelli, to highlight another issue we are passionate about, recovery. This year marks the 26th National Alcohol and Drug Addiction Recovery Month. Each September provides an opportunity to celebrate the millions of Americans in recovery. They are our family members, our colleagues, and community leaders. In short, they are really us. Now, substance abuse disorders affects almost every family and community. While we know treatment is available, and recovery is possible, many people still do not get the help they need. One recent report found that only 11% of people needing help with substance abuse issues received treatment. On a similar note, although suicide is the second leading cause of death for 15 to 24 year olds and is the 10th leading cause of death for people of all ages in the United States, many never receive effective behavioral health treatment for these causes leading someone to consider taking their own life. All too often, substance misuse is a contributing factor that exacerbates conditions that involve suicide ideation. An important connection to make as September is also National Suicide Prevention Month. We want you to know that resources are available to help people with substance use disorders in their recovery. These include medication-assisted treatment, clinical counseling, recovery coaching, mutual aid programs, and other supports to help people wherever they may be in their recovery journey. Peer support is vital to reducing the isolation that many experience. We encourage everyone to begin a conversation about recovery. There is a growing and unstoppable recovery movement in the United States. People in recovery and those who love us are refusing to live in the shadows. 26 years into recovery myself, I am still moved when I hear someone's story of recovery. We are and will continue to change hearts and minds by the simple act of being honest and open about who we are, what our struggles were, and how we overcame them.